Hey, what's going on, everyone? This is Keo Daikin. I have a very special showing for you today of RetroPie Supreme Ultra. I want to show you guys a few scripts. This one comes at the special request of Mods to Die For, Bobby Vu. Bobby Vu, this is for you. All right, so I figured I'd go ahead and do this for you guys. I was contemplating going live, but I'm just gonna go ahead and walk you guys through a few things, show you what's new. On the bottom right, you guys are familiar with this. If you've seen my previous videos, that is the 14 by nine LCD marquee. So uh, we're gonna take a look at a few of the new scripts today, which you guys will see. Uh, there has been some uh, advancements and no one else, no one else on the internet has seen this at all this is all brand new I mean obviously I've been playing with this for about a month or so now but but this is all brand new for you guys because I want you guys to understand that usually uh, a lot of times people may say hey I got the latest and greatest and then we're looking at it and we're like well that was like three or four months old so uh, let's take a look first thing we're gonna do is we are going to go to visual tools and we are going to go to the supreme marquee tool and we're gonna hit okay and we're gonna turn it on go to apply and keep your eye on the bottom right screen for the lcd marquee so i want to show you guys the brand new marquee script uh, this is one of the reasons why supreme ultra is now called supreme ultra 1.5 Don't take your eye off, or you'll miss it in all its glory. <laughs> what you're looking at is the brand new, latest and greatest marquee script. So before you could add, uh, well, before originally, you would just have your splash intro screen on your main device, and then you would have a PNG file pop up. Well, now the second reversion was you could log in and have two splash screens, one on your main screen and one on the marquee, but the latest edition that no one has ever seen before, and if you guys are watching this and you're the very first user watching this at all, first time, this is a brand new marquee script that allows you to have a splash screen intro and a custom splash screen marquee while you're in your menus. As you guys see, I am moving around right now. You know what, in fact, let me try to change the clarity on this a little bit. I want you guys to see it. Apologize about that. Let's go ahead and let me reduce the exposure a little bit so you guys can see it. All right, so there you go. That is the brand new marquee script. Thank you guys for watching. We're not done yet. I got a couple more surprises and things that I definitely want to show you. So you're watching the first ever marquee script that has a video playing while you're in your menus. Now we're going to go ahead and start up a game. And for today's video, we are looking at, uh, this is Supreme Ultra's version Pistoletto my custom image that I made uh, and that I'm still working on for you guys. So let's just pick any random game. And I wanna show you that it does work. So as soon as I start the game, the video marquee will stop playing. And then of course, it goes into a, uh, a PNG file right there, as you guys can see it. 
Oops, you know what? I picked the wrong game. Oh, there we go. All right, so you can't see it there on the bottom. In fact, let me change this exposure ratio. So as you can see, once you start the game, there is your marquee, your PNG marquee. And then of course it stops the video once you start a game. So we're gonna go ex exit out. I'm gonna show you guys something else really quick, which I'm sure a lot of you will be excited for. And then once again, there is the video marquee while you are browsing around and surfing through your menus, trying to decide which game you wanna play on your arcade unit or on your TV. Now, I do wanna make mention that the sounds of the marquee, if you guys are using a uh, video file that's on the marquee, it does come through the main TV or your main viewing that you're using. So if you have music playing um, at the same time, it will kind of conflict with the music that's on there. So I highly suggest, <clears throat> excuse me, I highly suggest if you are using a video marquee, you use a video that has no sound on there or if it's really, 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 really low. Now, for me, this doesn't bother me because the marquee that I'm using right now for the video is uh, like a custom sound effect. It has technological stuff on there. So if I was playing music here on my RetroPie device, it wouldn't really interfere or bother me at all. So just something to keep in mind. It's not really a hassle, but just wanted to make you guys aware of that. Uh, so the sounds that you guys may be hearing right now is coming directly from the marquee. I have no music or anything playing directly on the RetroPie device itself. So uh, there is one last thing I definitely want to show you guys today. Uh, right now I am at about a hundred and probably 128 light gun games. I had a few more requests today. So thank you for you guys in the community. You guys know who you are. So the fat last and final thing I definitely want to show you guys I do believe I have it activated already. So we're gonna to go to setup, and then we are gonna to go to the Supreme Online Tool. And as of right this moment, this is only and only available on Supreme Ultra. Uh, we're gonna hit okay. And then we are going to go to fixes and updates. Please click here. And lo and behold, we have another menu called Supreme Ultra. And What's this? No. Can it be? <laughs> so if you guys, I know a lot of you guys are new to this and you really haven't seen the full benefit of this uh, compared to what you would typically have to do as of right now. The um, Send In Light Gun Toolkit is already made available for you as promised as I stated yesterday. It only took a few hours to do. I believe the original script was about eight code, uh, eight lines of code, and this one is about 200 lines. There's a lot of stuff that's already been updated for you guys and things where you don't have to do it yourself. All you have to do is go in, hit a button, and all the bezels and all the software and all the configurations are already automatically added for you. If you are a customer of the Sydney Light Gun and you are using a Supreme build, preferably or actually the only one which is going to be Supreme Ultra. Now, I'm on the fence if I'm going to include this with uh, the Venom image and then there's also another image I'm going to release as well. Uh, personally, I do believe that only um, if you are going to make a uh, use light guns, it's preferably best to already uh, use a separate image like I've already created. Um, one of the things that you have to do that, that's been automatic for you guys, and this required a lot of work, and fortunately, I was already in the process of doing it. Uh, you have to know all the games that are fully capable to really have this script really work. You have to know all the games that are fully light gun enabled and that you can already go in and add uh, your custom setting to it. So the fourth option, which was just added today, install Kiel's preset send and light gun set. So um, I've never played with that one already. I do believe I already have this script. Uh, I'll go ahead and click it for you guys anyway. So install send and light gun. Looks like the send and light gun is already installed. So all the software is already there. It doesn't make duplicate copies of anything that are already for you. You also have a patch involved as well. So. We're gonna go ahead and exit out. Exit. 
Now, there's been some removals or we move things around just a little bit. Now, typically based upon the instructions that I receive uh, from the file, everything is supposed to go into the ports folder. So I just wanna show you guys really quick. This is your ports folder. And again, this ports folder is not available on RetroPie Official. It's usually mostly on custom images that are made by the community. Uh, there is a way to add it to a, a, a RetroPie Official. But as you can see, none of the sending links are here but you will find them right over here under controller tools and you will even see that uh, there is a picture there so all of this stuff has gone in uh, to work for you guys i'm going to go ahead and install or show you guys where you can find this and how you can go ahead and set up your sending light gun again now i don't currently have it just want to put that out there for clarity the script automatically it does work the bezels are already installed for you so let's go ahead and take a look at this. So we'll get you guys up and started. So you'll find this where you find your light gun and your aim track controller settings. Uh, we even added that picture there for you, that extra PNG. So let's go ahead and back out and do, 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 do. let's see. Should we play some Sega Saturn? Yeah, I don't think you guys ready for that. Let's go play something else. <laughs> Uh, let's go over to my arcade and we will play let's play zero point i don't think i've set this one up yet or saved any of the settings oh you know what i think did i properly associate this with the right emulator first ah i did okay just check it Yeah, this one's a little different. This one doesn't bounce back to the original spot. So uh, what we're gonna do is we are going to hold in the hot key and press the X button. And I do believe that there was an update made to RetroArch and I'll get to that in a minute because uh, there was a couple of settings I was looking for and I was like, wait a minute, they've changed a few things since uh, my last updated when I did the main 2016 light gun tutorial. So let it on screen overlay. And we are going to change the overlay preset for main horizontal. And then you can just go straight to the bottom. And then you can se select which light gun uh, border, send in light gun border uh, you want to use. Back, back. And as you can see, there is the send in light gun border uh, surrounding the game itself. All you gotta do is put in a few coins and you guys can start playing and you are good to go. Now there is something else I definitely wanted to point out to you guys, so bear with me, I'm gonna find it. Hopefully it doesn't take me that long because sometimes it turns me around. We're gonna go to video and we are going to go in synch is it synchronization one second it's scaling ah there it is found it okay so you go into video uh video and you're gonna go to scaling and you're gonna have core provided now core provided is what your tv uh and your aspect ratio is already going to be according to um uh, your retro pie and of course a lot of you out there you've already seen some videos and the the send in software it compresses everything usually like four or three ratio directly to your screen however after looking at the files i haven't done it here but just saying after looking at the files and looking at what you can do you can create your own border around whatever game it is you want to play so let's say if you're playing duck hunt or whatever the game it is you want to play or if you're playing um mobile suit gundam or one of the other games that may come out really really small on your screen uh, this core provided ratio or the configuration here allows you to pick what size you want the game to be and around this like let's say if you want to have if you guys have an arcade setup like i do we have like three or four monitors or even six monitors uh, you could create a surround display around everything if you want uh, if you're using a PC rather, but if you are using this, you want to keep everything on one monitor. <laughs> uh, you can also go ahead and change the aspect ratio. And then of course, uh, you can create your own customized bezel that will go around the game itself. So that way you get more of, instead of getting setting, settling down or settling for a four 
one or let's say a three four ratio you get more of your screen or tailored directly to what it is uh, that you want now i'm not going to perfect all of this right now because going through all of these different ratios and then trying to customize something for those of you guys who have a small tv or a big tv i'm not going to get into all of that as of this moment but i'm just letting you the community know that it is possible to expand the viewing angle of a particular game you may love with the send in software so the technology is really great i can't wait to actually get it so i'm just going to show you guys something really uh, here really quick so let's say if i left this value as it is and you see the value is uh the game is actually a little bit better so it took up more of the screen instead of leaving a, a little bit of the black on the side so uh i hope you guys enjoyed that quick little video thank you guys again bobby Vu, this is for you uh I'm going to go ahead and log into a few of the more systems. Uh, I don't have a full arcade set or a full ROM set, so you guys can see all of the PNG files uh, for the marquee. This was just for brief demonstration purposes, because uh, for those of you guys who may not know, there is a marquee uh, uh, package out there, and roughly it's about 50 gigs. Yeah, I believe it's about 50 gigs. So um, I do just want to take some time out and show you guys that it is possible and that it is available for you. As you can see, you got the Amistrad and the Amistrad CPC marquee down there at the bottom right. And then for a second, it does go back to the video marquee. Now, when you do start the game and the PNG file comes up, the video script uh, for the other marquee does go away. So there is a video script there. I'm not going to spend any time playing with this game, but that is a light gun based game. And there are some additional games that are light gun games that you guys probably would need to be thought of. So for example, just to show you guys something really quick that I added uh, for this particular light gun set, uh, you have, where is it? Silent Hill. So uh, typically Silent Hill is a first person game where you play it, but there is an Easter egg in the game where you, that does allow you to use a light gun if you uh, follow the Easter egg tutorial. Uh, there's, I'm sure you guys can find a video out there, but there is a tutorial out there where you can uh, use a light gun game with this game. So I definitely researched that and made sure I added it on here for you. So with that being said, I'm out. I got some things I need to work on. I need to get this game list over so everything can be custom set for you. Hope you guys have a great evening. Please consider subscribing to the channel. Uh, we do this because we love the hobby community and we definitely love helping you guys out. If you guys have any questions or concerns, please do not hesitate to leave a message on this video. And I can't wait to get my sending light gun so I can give you guys a thorough review, walk you guys through all the settings, let you know of any updates that may be coming. So we're here to help. Catch you guys later. You guys have a great evening. Peace.